there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the CHALL, Dongster Born Bot Bill for Theme Parks, and your theme park journalist worldwide. And today, we have a theme park newsroom update here on Ghost Channel YouTube channel. Today, we are travelling to Cedar Point on Top Thrill Dragster. Now, the reason why I've stayed quiet about this since the past week or two, since it's been announced to be closing uh, and retired, is that, but not officially removed, is uh, I wanted to sort of wait for a moment wait till more stuff comes out, wait till more things are happening, and then create this nice bulk of video sharing my thoughts and analysis on what this could be. So, please do like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. The socials are down below on your screen and in the description of the video as well. You can share your video ideas as well with the Google link down below in the description as well. And uh, for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what is happening. So I'm going to take you back to the original Cedar Point statement uh, from over the last couple of weeks. And it says as uh, follows. Now, the official statement... Uh, all came about through Twitter uh, back on the 6th of September and it says we have an important update to share regarding our top thrill dragster roller coaster. After 19 seasons in operation with 18 million rides experienced in the world's first strata coaster, top thrill dragster as you know it is being retired. However Cedar Point's legacy of ride innovation continues. Our team is hard at work creating a new and reimagined ride experience and we'll share more details and information at a later date. So what could be happening? Well, uh, my understanding uh, from Screamscape, uh, the latest, um, is the potential opportunity to switch, add a switch from the station um, over to a dedicated launch track where a new LSM powered launch system would turn the coaster into a multi-launch attraction, shooting up the tower first, giving every train a rollback experience, back through the launch, up a near rear spike track that would feature a twisted spiral track. Uh, not unlike Wicked Twister, before falling back down and through the launch for a full powered run up and over the Dragster Tower as normal. That was a potential idea through Screamscape. Uh, Savage Coasters did actually came up with a concept uh, via um, No Limits, I believe, called Dragster 555. Go and check that video out. It looks amazing. It is on. It, there's a clip of a uh, couple of clips of it on your screen right uh, during this report. And uh, yeah, just overall, it just looks absolutely amazing. Um, now, obviously, in terms of my thoughts on this, do I think it's the right move to retire Chop Drill Dragster as we know it? Yes, it is. It's been going through a lot of maintenance problems. Uh, am I sad that I never got to write the original? Yes, because it was a proper bucket list coaster for me personally. Uh, I'm excited about what's to come. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm really excited. And the reason why I'm excited is because look at the potential they've got with that site now now people comment down below if i'm wrong about this but is there the potential opportunity to attach a drop tower to drag the structure as well that could just be me that could just be me throwing the boat out here without thinking it through properly but is that a potential concept that could come off? Comment down below. But aside from that, in terms of the actual Dragster Coaster itself, I do like that idea through Savage Coaster's concept and Screamscape's original idea. I do like that. Having a spike, uh, I mean a switch track uh, from the station, and then an LSM launch, powering it back up the spike, and then into the actual Dragster concept as normal. I think that's a really good idea. Um... And I feel like it's an easily, well not easily, but it's a, it's a very much a realistic possibility for me in terms of a concept. And I'm sure that, uh, I mean, from my understanding, I believe Intamin will probably be working on this project. So I believe personally that Intamin could, could, could do a really good job with Top Thrill Dragster and in terms of the whole experience and the, the redevelopment of the experience. So uh, it's going to be really, really interesting to see what that happens. And of course, over the next year or two, we will be covering this project a hell of a lot more. So stay tuned for more on this. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Dogs to Born, but both theme parks keep living the coastal life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a dragster-tastic day. RIP, top thrill dragster. You will be missed.